Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. Now what we have here is a video spurred on by a question that I received about the weasel. And the guy said, well the weasel looks like it's fun, but he wasn't sure he'd like to get one, but it is kind of expensive. And I said, well, the thing that you really need to do, I think the simplest way to test if you're compatible with the weasel is to run through the BMP series. Get your way up to BMP3, which is what you see here. Now you see my weasels in the background in my garage. And the reason I say this is because weasel is really expensive, about 14,000 gold. You don't really want to buy it and then find out, well, you know what? I don't like the way this plays. So, in my mind, the easiest way to figure this out, if this is a fit for you, is to run down the BMP line. Because the BMP is a little bit lighter weight. Um, not lighter weight, but it's got lighter armor. Or that's how it feels, anyway. So, it's kind of similar. You know, not a really a close fit, but it's the closest you can get to running a weasel really is running BMP 2 and then BMP 3. And if you get to BMP 3, you're going to kind of know that it's going to be fine for you. But, you know, the thing is, you need to see this in action. And, you know, the feeling is as close as you're going to get. Now, you have some slight differences. The BMP has got less durability. So you get hammered quicker in the BMP-3. Part of that is because it's slightly larger than the weasel, making it an easier target to hit. But you do have some offsetting advantages that the weasel doesn't have. It's got a turret, number one. Number two, the reload for the missile is much faster. The reload on the BMP-3 missile is about seven and a half seconds. A little bit lower if you have it adjusted. You can adjust it if you want to adjust it for speed, if you want to adjust it for missile reload. Um, I have it on this one set for maximum camo. And that, you know, is where it's useful. Because it's got, a, you know, decent camo. Not as good as the weasel. The weasel's is way better. It's the best in the game, really. So the weasel is a unique creature. But you get in the ballpark with a BMP-3. And this will give you, I think, the best read. So if you like the, B the BMP-3, the weasel's way better, in my opinion. And if you don't like the BMP-3, you're probably not going to like the weasel, even though the weasel is better. It just depends. But it will just give you a good feel for what's going on. So let let's go look at the BMP-3. And then I have a couple of games to show you. All right, the accuracy on the guns is quite good. So that's one of the things that's, that's really key. Now this one, of course, is fully upgraded. I have all the upgrades. Got the radio, suspension, the turret upgrade, the missile launcher, and the regular chain gun. One of the things that's good also about the BNP-3 is with the chain gun, it is an anti-weasel tank. So you can kill weasels in this guy because they have no gun. So that's one of the other things. It depends on you know how your style of play is. The weasel, you have to remember, is just a fancy tow missile on top of a tank. No other guns. So on, on all of these, I have them configured essentially the same. We use the advanced zoom with the enhanced targeting to give us what I call Bernie vision. And it's great because it lets you know if you have hittable targets down range instead of you know guessing. Uh, here, the fan is added. This gives you a, a quicker reload, better camouflage, better view range on your binoculars. So it affects everything just like the 
enhanced rations and the born leader does on your commander in fact all three of those things do the same thing so you get three of them instead of just one instead of just born leader if you have the fan it will give you it's effectively a second born leader effect and then you get the same thing from the enhanced rations camo net is very helpful on your camouflage if you can if you look at this here camo rating on this is you know 170 I'm sorry, it's 154, which is very good. Now, the Weasels is 35 if you get it all the way to the bottom. But BMP3 should give you the feel that you're looking for. And by the time you go through it, you would know. Now, in the BMP3, it's only a five tank run. You know, you start with the red T44A. Now, if you have any red tanks at all, you've already beaten, you know, gone through that. The only real trouble you have is this PT-76. This tank is not really very good. It's low end. It's got low expectations, so it's easy to pass through it. And that's what I say the PT stands for, pass through 76. It's not very good. Brownie, you know, chewed through this in no time flat. And he was like, yeah, I can do this fine. He didn't even upgrade it. So he never upgraded it. He didn't waste the money. And I think he actually has a mark of excellence on this tank, completely ungraded, with, you know, unupgraded. It's just fantastic, just stock as they get. So this is the lemon of the lot, essentially. Then when you get the BMP-1, you have a light tank with a low-end gun, but you got missiles. And this will give you the same kind of feeling the advantage of the BMP line is that these are tech tree tanks. They cost you zero gold. All right. That's really the number one thing. Because if you go through these and you go, yeah, man, this is going good. That weasel is looking way better. Then you're probably, you know, going to have a good time working on the weasel. The thing about rocket tanks, if you haven't played them, they're different than other stuff. And so there's a learning curve that's different for everybody. It's a little bit harder for some, impossible for others, okay? So it's not a gimme. You know, I had to watch some videos from Ricky Ticky. The guy was a terrific um, explainer of rockets. So that's another possibility as well. Having someone explain it to you in a way you understand it is really helpful. So, you know, after BMP-1, you get the real thing. BMP-2 is what I call the real the, the first real rocket tank that it's actually a solid good tank. BMP-1 is a little rickety. It's alright, but it, it, it's something to make you tough it out, okay? They want you to like waste your money spending um, you know, buying tank experience boosters. You probably have a bunch of those anyway. The key thing is, here's the deal. On the BMP-1 and the BMP-2, I don't consume free experience to get through this. What these tanks help you do is the amount of grinding you're going to have to do is going to help you if you look at it as I'm using, I need this time to acclimate myself to this tank and, and understand how these rockets are working so you're not don't really worry about getting through it fast but you know learn you want to learn while you're there and there's another thing you can do if you're not doing very well say in the BMP1 because the, the rockets are new to you if this is the case go to co-op so watch this let's go back out here so in Cold War multiplayer if you go co-op, you'll play with three to eight people, maybe more if there's more guys on, against 15 robots. So you'll have a 15 on 15, but the only people will be on your team. And co-op is a tremendous battleground to study what you want to do with rockets and try to learn the intricacies of how it's going. I took Bernie to co-op. And we did maybe eight or ten games because he wasn't a rocket guy and I was showing him rocket stuff. And after we went from co-op to multiplayer, 
he was doing great. So that was the great thing is that we used co-op to acclimate to the rocket tanks and make adjustments. It's like, wow, well, okay, this didn't work that great for you, okay, or for me. And so we adjusted stuff. And you learn how to make it work for you because that's the most important thing. How it works for me is great for me. It may not be great for you. You know, I did it myself the hard way, all multiplayer. And it wasn't until I was thinking about it with Bernie because he was like, well, I haven't played Rockets very much. And I was like, really? And I, let's go do co-op. And then I was like, I'm an idiot. I should have done co-op first for myself. You know, mistakes were made, as they say. So that's a, a helpful training ground. Really helpful. So that will work. And then essentially, um, when you get to BMP3, you know, you have the full arsenal. You have a very good chain gun. And that chain gun is great anti weasel gun. You have a fast reloading rocket, which you're going to get to see. And in fact, I was able to get one game to show you one of the things about the, the BMP3 that's very helpful. So we're going to go and show you a chunk of one game that we won. Just the, just the BNP3 part. We don't, the rest of it is not really relevant. We're, we're studying BNP3 here, not anything else. So we're going to go check those out, and then we'll descri I'll describe to you what's going on there as it happens. All right. Here we are in Razumnii. So I'm going to go ahead up here to see what's going on and see what kind of uh, encounters we can get, what have you. So what I do, when I go in my BMP3, I have it set for rocketry first. The chain gun is my secondary gun. Because I'm a rocket hunter, essentially. And there's guys right there. Now again, we have a turret here, which is very helpful. Now you'll see, and I'm not here, you get a better angle. You're gonna see the Bernie vision. I get a ship if I get a clean shot. I know I get one here somewhere. There we go. What it has on my guys, that's a tag. Excellent kill. Now after I killed this guy with that rocket, I saw there's a weasel over there. That stupid uh, roof got in my way. We're going to go use the chain gun on the weasel. And this is one of the things that the BNP3 is really useful for is getting weasels or other light tanks primarily by surprise. So he dropped smoke and I'm circling him. And then I got annihilated. And this is one of the weaknesses of the BMP3. It's weaker in durability than the weasel. And in a weasel, that probably doesn't kill me in one shot. But he hit me, I guess, just right. And so my BMP3 is toast. Now the good news is we won this game. So that's fine. But I wanted to show you Got the kill early with this BMP3 for rocket. Went there, was chewing up the weasel with the chain gun. And then I got annihilated, which happens. And this is one of the weaknesses of the BMP3 versus the weasel. But, you know, the strength is I had a chain gun. So luckily I was on a good team and they came through and cashed in the win. All right, here we are in Zuckla Pass. I really don't care for this map, but what I'm gonna do is go down this one line here and see what stuff is gonna happen. Usually there's a battle, it's like right here, Echo 1, 2, Fox 1 and 2, Gulf 1 and 2.
So we'll blaze down here right along the dotted line and see what happens. Now I know what happens. Obviously, I was here. There's a guy just below the horizon. So that's not a problem. We're going to move up. I got plenty of dudes to help, which is key. Now there's a guy that was you. Now he is an STRF. And there's his toe right there. Tagged him right in the toe. Near the front of his tracks. And that was the Bernie vision that you could see outlining his tank. And that's one of the keys of the Bernie vision. You get the outline to let you know that is a hittable target. There's another one. Right there. Tag. Hardcore. So, this is the same kind of thing that basically happens in any rocket sniper tank. But BMP3, you know, light tank, quite mobile. But, as you saw in the last game, its durability is not good. But that's okay in the context of showing you what I had told you, you know, in the, in the garage at the beginning of the video. They have pluses and minuses, and the, the durability of this tank is not too high. I got over here, made a killer shot on that guy, and then was backing up, and then I almost dropped the smoke, but I didn't think I needed it. And then I got tagged. Oh, Jesus, I'm still alive. Another good example. That guy really weaned me with that rocket. But luckily, I didn't die. But it was close. So these are, you know, a couple of good examples of what happens in a BNP3. I don't play the BNP3 very much because I have a weasel, and the weasel fits my rhythm a lot better than the BMP3, but if you can play a rocket sniper tank, you can play any rocket sniper tank, you know, decently. You know, and I didn't have the greatest luck in these matches, but we still did okay. We won the first match, and spoiler alert, we're gonna win the second match too. You know, I'm not really, you know, I don't amount to a hill of beans. At this point, there's only three guys left. And you're just not going to get anything here. But that's okay. I'm not worried about that. I'm here primarily just to show you kind of like a day in the life of BMP3 to give you an idea if you're considering this whole weasel concept. that I think this is really the best way. Now, you can use other rocket tanks as well. But we're just right now working on BMP3 because same era, era three, and similar performance. As close as you can get to being a weasel without being a weasel. Last guy left is a jaguar. And the jaguar, if you don't know, this is a double missile launcher tank like the weasel but also it has a, a you know a, a little more durability tougher build plays like that you know rack rack yard ponds or two that which is another great tank the blue nation that's another great line of tanks to consider but like i said today we're doing a day in the life of bmp3 So my team did great, as you can tell. That K, that K1, he kicked mega butt with a P cell, and the other BMP3 had a really nice game there. So congratulations to him. That's kind of a bonus. So this is the BMP3, just to give you an idea of what you might expect, and if this appeals to you, that'll help you 
uh, in the BNP, uh, I'm sorry, in the quest for preparing for the weasel. Because I, I'm just telling you, one of my friends has the weasel and he can't play it worth a crud. And he's got a mental block uh, about learning to play it better. And it's like, I can't help you, but, you know, if he'd have had this video kind of idea, it might have helped him, you know. Because I don't want anyone to buy an expensive weasel and then go, Oh, man, I can't play this thing. It's different. It's not easy. It's it's like a light tank, but it also has those monster missiles. Now, there are other light tanks as well that you can use. But the main thing here was to get the closest we could. And the BMP-3 is a short line of tanks. Take up a weeks or less, depending on your assets. You know, if you have a bunch of times two or times three tank XP boosters that'll help you a lot if you've acquired them over the, over the years and you just don't you don't use very many now one of the things I will tell you when you're going through tank lines I don't recommend blowing free experience that's your business I, I hoard my free experience and trade it in for free tanks that's what I do so I have like a quarter of a million as you can see in the upper right hand corner so you do whatever floats your boat if you're stuck in a tank you can't stand well i've done it myself so you know whatever just trying to you know give you helpful advice because you don't want to go and do stupid things and blow your assets okay i also what i do if i'm going to go run through this line which i did i used one commander i used it in the pt-76 i went down that the next tank moved it right into the bnp-1 and move that sucker right into the BNP-2. They use one commander popping in tank after tank after tank, continuing to build the skills of that commander. Preferably, if you're doing this, if you have the option, use a three-star commander. Because if you set up a three-star commander with a quick learner, number one, enhanced rations, number two, and then a 30% three-star commander, that gives you 50% commander bonus every match it'll help a little bit okay it makes a difference so if you're doing this that's the way I would do it now one of the things I was going to think about showing you was if you look at the size difference uh, let me see if I can see it here or not come here dude there we go well from this angle you can't see it but the you could see that the that the weasel is much smaller than the BMP-3. It's like the, the tow missile itself, the whole weasel is about the, the height of the top of the, the deck of the body of the BMP-3. So it, it's substantially smaller. This makes it harder to hit, especially on the run. But, you know, BMP-3 is, you know, solid. You saw a good example of its, you know, weakness of its armor. You don't take a beating in a BMP-3 and survive, okay? So that's just one of those things. So one of the things in the BMP-3 that you may have noticed, I don't need any first aid because you're not going to live long enough in a BMP-3 generally to use first aid. That's just a sad reality. You'll either survive by luck like I did in the second match, and I didn't, you know, even if I needed first aid, it's not going to be a big deal. So the uh, B, uh, the in the weasel is one I use first aid in the weasel because you get hammered a lot and you're still alive and you need it because the performance the performance maximum of the weasel is literally sky's the limit. It's way up there. BMP3, its top end performance is much less than the top end of the weasel. You know, no matter what your level, if you're average, above average, even, or great, the weasel performance top end is way better. But the BMP-3 is useful, and it is effective. And if, you're, if you get good at it, it's a butt kicker in its own right to a lesser degree. Conversely, you know, it's, it's relatively easy to make long hauls. Rel you know, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's easier maybe than the weasel, depending on your 
skill set and the way you play it. It's a it's a it's a fairly useful tank. So this pretty much covers everything I wanted to tell you guys about the BMP if you're considering going for the weasel because like I said, it's free as long as you don't throw away your assets. Don't you know I don't I wouldn't say go buy a bunch of boosters to go through it. That kind of defeats the purpose. But you have all the elements you need here. So, you know, use boosters if you have them, but I wouldn't buy any for it because it's not that big of a deal. I also would save, for the most part, my free experience. Again, that's just personal adv advice. You could do whatever floats your boat. So hopefully this will help you out. If you know any friends of yours who are considering the weasel, maybe tell them about this video. Maybe that would help them. So I want to thank you guys for watching it. Look forward to seeing you guys very soon. And as always, I just like to say, like and subscribe.